Hi, so in this video we're continuing on with our discussion on truth tables and what I want to do here is keep going and really begin to identify okay once we've given and built a truth table for the proposition we're looking at then the question is uh, what about if we have two propositions can we compare them and there are different ways of comparing them so let me move my screen over here uh, and so what really what we're looking for in this video is this idea of um, comparing statements. Now one thing to remember is when you compare statements you'll be comparing um, the column that falls under each statements main operator right so you compare the main operators Uh, for each statement. I mean, I should add here, you compare the truth values that fall under the main operators, right? But just keep that in mind, because especially after you build the truth table, it can be sort of like confusing to look at. Um, and so, and then there's three possibilities, or I'm sorry, four possibilities here for saying, let me move this over here. So, there is right there are whoops sorry about that there are four types of classification when you compare statements the first type here is what we call logically equivalent logical equivalence the set and that's essentially a logically equivalent is when they have the same values right um, line by line right and keep in mind here one thing to know is that when you compare two different statements um, you need to make sure that you have the same they have the same amount of variables otherwise it's very difficult to compare them uh, if not impossible so first off there's logical equivalence they need to have the same if they have the same values the second is contradictory And contradictory is namely um, where each one has the opposite truth value on each line. So the opposite truth values. The third possibility here is consistent. And consistent is when there's at least one line on which the truth values are the same for both. So there's one line here in which um, the truth is the same. So that just means you need one line in which both of them are true. Um, that's basically the idea there. And then of course the fourth possibility here is they're inconsistent and they're inconsistent means there's no line in which um, you have truth on both on the same line right so there is no line on which the truth values are both the same there's no line in which truth is the same I'm sorry this is sort of probably hard to read um, but <clears throat> so there's logical equivalence contradictory consistent and inconsistent so let me see here if I can zoom over here and er maybe erase everything else that I've done um, and let's sort of give you an example of each one of these types of statements so just for the sake of demonstration here I'm gonna utilize very small propositions because it's sort of confusing so the first one here is logical equivalence right so let's take if we have k therefore l that's our first statement and our second statement here is going to be not l therefore not k right um, so let's do it real fast we've got true true false false true false true false I'm just gonna lay in all the values here true false true false and then k is true true false false okay so I just laid them all in now let's sort of look at the values here would be the opposite false true false true um, false 
false, true, true. Um, now let's take a look at these. This is, oh, I guess we might as well finish it. So here I'm going to compare this line and this line using the conditional rule. So that's true, false, true, true. I'm going to circle it here just so we can sort of see what we're going to be classifying. You'll notice that I'm circling the truth, uh, the truth column that falls under the main operator because that's what you have to compare. So let's do this. This is true, false, true, true. Circle it. And you can see here that line by line, this is true and this is true, right? These values are the same. Those are true, false, true, and false. So as a result, these two expressions actually are logically equivalent. They really mean the same thing. So there's an example of logical equivalence. Let's give you an example here of contradictory. Contradictory. So this one is going to be, we're going to stick with k therefore l, right? But here instead I'm going to go k and the negation of l. Um, okay, so I've got true, true, false, false, true, true, false false. You're probably wondering at this point, this seems sort of tedious, is there a faster way? Well, when we get to indirect truth value, indirect truth tables, you'll see there is a much faster way actually. Um, but for this point, you have to understand at least what these core concepts are before we can get that far. Okay, make sure that you're, you've done it correctly. So let's just finish this one. This is true, false, true, true. I'm going to circle it. And then this is going to be, whoops, pardon me. This is false, true, false, true, right? It's the negation, so I'm using the opposite. And then using the conjuncti the conjunction rule here, there's going to be false, true, false, false. I'll circle it. Now I compare these two. And you can see here where this is true, this one is false. That didn't work. Where this is false, this one is true, that doesn't work. If this is true, this is false, that doesn't work. Where this one's true, this one's false, that doesn't work. This is a logical contradiction. Namely, if someone says, if Kevin comes to the party, then Larry is going to, that's a contradiction saying, Kevin's going to come, and it's not the case that Larry won't be, won't, that Larry will come. Right, that's actually a contradiction. I mean, that's sort of my real world example, uh, which probably doesn't really help. But anyway, so that's a notion of contradiction. Uh, in terms of comparing statements. Now keep in mind here, uh, this is a contradictory statement. That's not the same thing as classifying each one of these statements as themselves a contradiction. So we're not classifying the statements. Keep in mind we're comparing. Okay, so now let's look at consistent. Okay, and so this one we got K or L, and then K and L. And you know what you might want to be doing as you watch this video is run through this yourself and then pause the video, do them yourself and see if you do it right. If you do it right and then, and then start the video up again and if you get the same thing I do, that means you're doing it right and you're getting the ideas. Uh, that's a nice sort of thing here I think about the YouTube videos is that you can pause them uh, and of course watch them over and over. Um, okay, so let's do this one. K or L, right? That, in order for the disjunctive, remember we're using the disjunctive rule here, in order for the disjunction to be true, there just has to be one truth value that's the same. So that's true, 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 false. So I'm just going to circle it here just so you can see what we're comparing. Um, and then this K, the conjunction rule, right, there they both have to be true, otherwise they're always false. Right. So you can see here... These both are false, right? Um, but remember, our rule for consistency is there has to be one line where there's uh, one line, one row, I'm sorry, in which both values are true, right? So we're looking for truth here, um, not necessarily in terms of, even though they could both be false, that doesn't make them consistent. You have to have a line in which they're both true. Here, they're different values, that doesn't work. True to false, they're different values. But here the, on line one, as I'm sure you saw as, as I was doing this, they're both true. And so what this means is that on the first line, they have the same truth values such that if K is true and L is true, 
then these two statements would both be consistent. For instance, here's a sort of real language example. Either Kevin's going to the party or um, Larry's going to the party. And then what if someone said, no, wait, Kevin's going to the party and Larry's going to the party. Those could both be, those two statements in ordinary language could be consistent logically, but only on this condition, namely that, that K is true and L is true. Uh, and that's what we mean by consistency. Okay, but that, the trick here, I guess, is to remember that to talk about we need one row in which both are true. So you just need one row, but we also need to talk about truth. Uh, so if you have one row in which they're both false, that doesn't mean anything. Um, now let's look at inconsistent. Right, so inconsistent here is the example we were given here is if and only k if and only if l so we're using the biconditional and then the second statement is k and not l um, okay so let's do this. this is true true false false true true false false and then we've got true false true false true false true false let's start with this one we haven't done the biconditional while. Well. What is the rule for the biconditional? The rule is namely that they have to have the same truth value. So this is true, this is false, this is false, and this is true. Circle it. Right? Now the K and not L, right? Let's do it. That's false, true, false, true. Now use the conjunctive rule or the conjunction rule. Um, they in order for these to be true, they both have to be true. This is false, true false false circle it and now let's compare the statements now remember the rule is there has to be uh, they're inconsistent is namely there's no line in which both um, are true I, I by the way I'm using that term line and row interchangeably so you might want to also say here there's no row in which both have the same have a truth value so here you can see that while this one is true this one is false, that doesn't work. Well, this one is false, this one is true, that doesn't work. Well, this one's false, this one's false. And remember, the same thing goes here. We don't really care about falsity, right? That doesn't work either. That doesn't mean anything. And while this one's true, this one is false. So you can see that these statements are not are actually inconsistent statements. They're not logical contradictions because they don't mean the opposite of each other, ultimately. But, ult but they're not, you can't say them logically together at least it would seem right in terms of um, equating them with each other so there's a, this is the notion of inconsistency so again just a quick review the types of statements we have here is whether or not they're logically equivalent sorry again about my handwriting it's really horrible um, the second w uh, classification for comparing statements would be to say that they're contradictory Three, we would say they're consistent. Or four, they're inconsistent. Okay? And that concludes our lesson on terms of comparing statements. So at this point, you now have an understanding of both how to classify statements and how to compare statements. Okay, so you should probably do the homework if you're taking the class with us or you're using the Hurley textbook. Do the, your exercises here in 6.3 and see if you can really understand it. Um, in my next video, we'll move on and then we'll begin to talk about arguments because at this point we're just still talking about propositions and statements. The question is, what about if we want to understand whether an argument is valid in propositional logic? That will be my next video. I look forward to it. I'll see you guys soon.